Welcome to Holgan Farm, down here in Pembrokeshire, South West Wales. We're just about 15 minutes from Tenby, the holiday resort, and uh, this has been a life ambition of mine. In fact, I've worked all my life to achieve what we've got here, which is a fishery. I think it's every fisherman's dream. It's been a real hard last three years with all the excavations and landscapings, but I'd like to just give you a guided tour of what we've got to offer here. As well as a fishery, I also run bed and breakfast accommodation. There are two twin rooms and two doubles, all of which are en suite. There is also a TV lounge to relax at the end of a hard day's fishing. My wife Margaret is quickly earning a reputation with her roast dinners and fisherman's breakfast, which set the anglers up for a good day's sport. Every good fishery I've seen in the past has got its own water supply, and this is mine. And it comes to through here to this sluice here, and by lifting this gate or closing the gate, I can regulate the flow of water. And Ollie the Otter here, right, is a real nasty piece of work. Any unauthorised people try and touch this gate, then he has their hand off. This is where the water ends up from the sluice into this which I call my silt trap. It's three foot deep at this end where the water runs in and about six to seven foot deep at the other end. And of course, if there's any mucky water in the stream, the stream's in flood, then the silt, instead of going into the pond, the silt settles to the bottom and at the far end, then the clean water runs out and feeds lake number one. This is Lake One. It's a mixed fishery. There's carp to 24 pound, 22 pound, but the general run of the mill fish is sort of three, three to four pound. There's quite a few sixes and eights and right down the line. This here is the outfall from Lake One to Lake Two. That pipe there is probably about five foot deep and it runs under the ground and feeds Lake Two. Also with a grid on it, and that needs cleaning every day. And all I have to do is just lift that and you'll hear the water gush down there and feed Lake Two. And then just a matter of putting the grid back, quite a suction there, there it is. This is Lake Two, it's a typical Crucian carp and tench water and that's what's in here. If you look at the lilies and follow the outline of the lilies, then that signifies shallow water. In fact, there's a sunken island about two foot deep and the rest of the water is about six foot deep. And uh, this is a lot of people's favorite lake. Well, this is my little fishing hut where I've got all the necessary baits and a little bit of tattle hire for the visiting angler. But more important, you know, this is almost unique. Maybe one other fishery I know, I supply all the nets, that's the landing nets and the keep nets, right, to all the people who come here. There's 90 pegs, but bit expensive to kit everybody out with, with, the, with my own net, but it only needs one dodgy net to bring a disease from the last place they fished, and it could wipe my stocks out overnight. No fishery these days can afford to ignore the disabled anglers and their requirements and needs, and that's why I've built this nice easy ramp down here to the fishery. In fact, for the few matches we've had on here, uh, we've had a disabled match and a chap sat just there on that peg, sat in his wheelchair, he won the match with 65 pound of small carp. And they all had nice things to say about the access and about the fishery in general. This is the number three lake, which I call the Match Lake. And you can see it opposite every fishing platform We've scalloped out the bank so the angler has got somewhere to cast should those fish want to seek out that far bank island. Well, that's the three fisheries, but one of the features of all the 90 pegs here is the pegs. I've gone to a great deal of trouble to make the pegs as natural as looking as possible. I hate to see these wooden pallets and untidy things, and I'm getting no younger, so I want something maintenance free. And what I've done I've put these things, these hexagonal things here that they use on car parks where the grass grows, the roots, it might get trodden and damaged, 
but the roots don't, so the grass grows back again. This grass has only been sown seven weeks, so it's got to have a chance to grow yet. But once it does get grown and greened in proper, then I expect it to stay that way. Well, that's the three fisheries. But for you, Bruno, I've got something special to show you. I think it'll be right up your street. Come and have a look at this. Well, this is the river, the Eastern Cladai. It's got brown trout, sea trout, and salmon. I own about 250 meters of this with some nice pools. And Bruno, you could spend all day here catching a salmon. Keith could be in any one of the three lakes bagging it with the carp. The pair of you are more than welcome anytime.